hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are audio thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church player like this using adobe photoshop let's get started go to your file select new then we are going to use 1080 by 1080 pieces and leave your resolution at 300 then you click on great select the hands code and copy it ctrl plus c to copy or you can right click on it then and copy it then go to your fill color select the solid color ctrl plus v to paste now then we have to copy this one highlight it to select it ctrl plus c to copy then we are going to import the church logo reduce the size then select the test tool ctrl plus v to paste now change the font color to white reduce the font size then hold your shift key while you select it then we are, we are going to group it together now come to this icon logo here then to click it to so group it then go to select menu select all then we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it go to select then you deselect then duplicate this one by dragging it over here to duplicate or you can use ctrl plus j to duplicate now we are going to drag it down go to your test tool to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool using T on the keyboard that is a shortcut key or you click on the test tool on the toolbar then ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to apply a crater spacing then go to select menu select all then apply vertical alignment Go back to select and deselect now we are going to reduce the font size so like okay, this then copy your test ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste Then we are going to remove the character spacing by 0% and we are going to change the font to Khalifa. Then increase the font size. right i'm going to leave it this way i'm going to select this font over here and this one then go to your fonts and i'm going to use the fonts of the near then i'm going to copy the font from here of the near ctrl plus v to paste the font here then click on it to apply it so having done this one the next then we are going to get our test copy this one 
then T for the test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and we are going to use these tests. I mean, this font over here, then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste, then select the font. Now we are going to change the font color something like this then you increase the font size right having done this one then the next so the next we are going to draw a rent angle like this And we are going to remove the P color, then apply the stroke color, increase it by 3%, then create a corner shape, something like this. And let it be at the center here. right and after this then we are going to grid a cycle then position it somewhere there now then hold your control key while you click on this one then select this one, select the rectangle layer, then go to your eraser tool to select it. Now click on this one, click OK to apply, and you erase this part. Then you can turn this one off so that you will see it. The control plus D to tick select. Now you can delete this one then come over here to copy this one then select your test tool then we are going to change the font to the Jacqueline now we are going to paste it ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size And we are going to position it at the center here so having done that the next we are going to make a copy of this ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste so here we are going to use the font Helvetica to then use this test, use this font over here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you select it. Now reduce the font size. Okay, select your test tool, then apply center alignment, then this is the outcome. So the next we are going to import the image we are going to use here, so this is the image we are going to use here. Okay, so something like this now we are going to select 
our test here on the rectangle including the team then we are going to reduce the size something like this all right then select this image rasterize it go to your filter select the camera raw filter then we are going to adjust the setting here something like this then we are going to apply this setting then click ok so we have more brighter image now and go back to filter select image nomic put three short three then apply it to smooth the image then go back to your resource file then we are going to import this brush then go to your test document then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste. Right click to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change it to bold. Then reduce the font size. Then we are going to change the font color. Then pick a color from here to apply. Then go back to your test document. Copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Now reduce the font size. Alright, then the next. Then we are going to copy this one. Go back to your resource file. Then we are going to import location icon. So here is our location icon. Select your test tool. And Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to black. And reduce the font size then we are going to draw a rectangle line then select this color Then come over here to co copy this. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Let me type it manually since it's not copy.
and Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to duplicate this one and drag it up and bring it over here. Then duplicate this one also. Then drag it up. And bring it over here. Select your test tool. Then highlight it and I will type it 4 p.m. Then highlight this one, reduce the font size. Then increase this font size. Hold your shift key while you select this one. Now you can increase the size. And I'm going to change the font color. Select the text. Hold your shift key. Then select the test tool. Select the color. Then pick a color from here. Then apply it. Okay. So now we are going to the background now. So having great the color code, then we are going to import this background here. Fill it out. So it's already blown, no need to blur it. And we are going to change the blending mode to color dodge then the second one we are going to import this background here then bring it down and we are going to apply our blow go to question blow then make it 0 0.8.0 .0. then you click ok then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool and blend the top here like this all right then we are going to import another one here then import this now we are going to reduce it, then take it over here, something like this, then change the blending mode to screen and reduce the opacity to 21, then apply your layer mask, select your brush tool. Then reduce the size and I'm going to brush over here. Then brush it up here. Okay. So this is the outcome. Now we are going to import the strike light.
then position it over here and we are going to change the blending mode to overlay and the opacity we are going to reduce it to around 60 percent it's okay like this so yeah this is our background so guys thank you so much for following if you like this video please kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video if you want to enough my player please you can go to my fiber account using the link in the descriptions then to order any of your flyer then if you want to optimize your video then you can also use the link in the description then create a tubebody account to optimize your channel thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe and share